guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a keto haul, sort of, for you. Um, I have some items that are prepackaged foods that I wanted to show you um, and kind of go over with you what I liked, what I didn't like, that kind of thing. Because I know I make a lot of my own, but sometimes you just need to grab things that you can take on the go. And right now I am planning a pretty big trip for next year. And I need some items that I can take international on the airplane with me in my luggage and have when I'm there to throw my bag while touring around and stuff. So I've been sampling and I wanted to go over some of that with you and just show you some items. Um, also, I've got quite a few um, questions on the cookbooks that I've been using and showing you. And I thought I would show you those on this as well. There's Alex. Can say hi, buddy. Oh, say hi. Say hi, Chunky. Aw. All right, you can sit down, but you gotta sit down. Okay, so this is the, the first cookbook in her series, and her name is Dr. Christy Sullivan. She's got Cooking Keto with Christy YouTube channel and Cooking Keto with Christy on um, Facebook group. It's a very clean cooking, very clean keto. So they don't do, on this site, we don't do lazy keto, we don't do dirty keto, I'm not sure those are some different terms, but we don't net carbs and clean ingredients. So this was the first book, and what's great about this book, this is called A Journey Worth Taking, and then there's her story and some, you know, recipes in here and some insight and things. So that's book number one. So I purchased that, and then the second book that came out is Day by Day, Keto Living. And again, in the beginning, there's a 28, I believe it's a 28 day follow keto to get started. And there's a lot of information in the front, you know, on keto and why we do what we do and why our body responds the way it does. Now, these did not come spiral bound. I bought the books and I took them to Staples and they spiral bound them for like $4 a piece. Um, and then in the back of this one, there's recipes. So a lot of the recipes I use, ooh, my necklace, comes from these books. So, and then these are one that I wanted to remake. And this is Day by Day Keto Living. So that's the second book, and I got them all on Amazon. And then this one is Keto Gatherings, which is centers around holidays, all the different holidays. And again, in the front, there's some discussions about clean, what is clean, what is not. Like on this page, we're talking about mayonnaise, mustard, pickles, pork rinds, different things that you can eat while on keto, what is good about them, what is not so desirable. And a lot of my other recipes have come out of these, this book. And again, I mark them at the top. And I had this one spiral bound as well. One of the recipe I made the other day were the bagels. So this is that cookbook. I can't share the recipe because it's not mine, my recipe to share, but I can share the books. You can also get these for like um, EPUB, so for your Kindle or iPad, and they're much less expensive to have that way, a digital copy, but I just really enjoy paper. So those are the cookbooks that I use. I also get a lot of stuff off of um, Pinterest. I was like, where do I get it? Pinterest. And a lot of times, like, I'll come up with a, I'll follow a, a recipe a couple times, and then I just make my own, you know, it evolves into my own recipe. I may or may not like something. Or like those bagels, maybe I won't put the Asiago in next time. I'll put a different, well, actually, this time I put Gruyere, so maybe I'll make smoked cheddar next time. So I just kind of tweak things around. But that's the basis for my recipes. So I wanted to show you that. And then when I pack my lunch, this is just silly, but I love napkins. I don't know why, but I love napkins. And when I put one in my lunch every day, it makes me happy. And this says, every day should feel this good. I'm like, don't you need a motivational napkin in your lunchbox? I think so. Okay, let's talk keto. Now, some of these items, I'll just show you. Um, sweetener. When I do my cooking, this is my preferred sweetener. It's called Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. I got this bag on Amazon. Oh, what's on my hand? And it was $22 for a three pound bag. The ingredients are erythritol and monk fruit. Zero carbohydrates, because you subtract the four carbs for the um, erythritol. 
So zero carb, this is the closest I have come to tasting like regular sugar. Um, it, I believe it says it's like a measure for measure, but it's not. I mean, it's not for me. If a recipe calls for a cup of sugar, I may use three or four tablespoons of this, and I just taste as I go, the batter. I throw in a couple tablespoons, taste it, do I like it, is it too much, not enough, you know, and figure it out from there. But this is three pounds, and it's $22, I get it on Amazon. They also sell it at Costco. So I need to look at Costco. I'm gonna get a membership. The cats are wrestling, like they do. And what I do is I throw this at them, and they separate. They're not hurting each other, just I don't want them to get loud. So my sweetener, this comes in classic white. It comes in like a golden, so it tastes like a brown sugar. It doesn't act like a brown sugar. It's not like wet and sticky. And then it had, they have powdered. Um, I don't buy the powdered. I just put some of the classic in my blender or in my food processor and chop it up so it dissolves easier. So I use that. That's my sweetener of choice. Now I've used Swerve, that's good. I've used Stevia drops. Um, I don't like straight erythritol. It's that cooling effect I do not care for, which is what Swerve is. And I don't like straight Stevia because it has like a bitter effect to it. I prefer, if I'm gonna buy sweetener, like for my coffee, I get monk, it is not monk fruit. It's um, erythritol Stevia blend. What you don't want if you're doing clean keto is something with added dextrose, malodextrin, sucralose, those types of sweeteners. You really wanna stick with monk fruit, erythritol, stevia. You can do xylitol, but it's toxic to animals, to dogs for sure, I'm not sure about cats, and so I don't bring that in my house. So this is just my preferred to cook with. Done. Um, I did cook this for you guys the other day, this real good pizza, and it was, it was very good. It's expensive. This pizza is $7. $7. The only reason I bought it is because I had a buy one get one free coupon and I wanted to try it. But the ingredients are very clean. It's This pizza is two servings, so it will be eight total carbs, um, two sugars, 25 protein, 16 fat. So ideally, it doesn't have great macros either because you definitely want more fat than you have protein. So this is not ideal, but something quick on the run if you need something fast. Um, it's not something that I would put in my weekly rotation, my monthly rotation. It's in, I have the other one in my freezer, and it's just something I'll grab if I'm in a super big hurry. But then I need to eat some fat to go with it. Not ideal, but good, but tasty. So I have that. I tried one of these. And so a lot of this stuff I got at my keto... Um, meetup that I went to. These are Noosh bars. So it's N-U-S-H. Um, they taste like a little muffin. They're like a flat muffin. Um, and they are 12 grams of fat and only 5 protein, so that's good. There are 18 total carbs in here. Now, um, I think it's erythritol. It's monk fruit sweetener so it's pretty high in carbs for me and there's fruit it's I mean it's cl pretty clean but it's not ideal and they use way way too much what do they have in here well there's organic flax which is not good because it's a hormone disruptor there is erythritol so you can subtract the four sugar alcohol so it's 14 carbs but they put egg flavor sodium hold on It's either monk, I mean, um, psyllium husk or xanthan gum. It makes a slimy taste in your mouth, and whatever it is, they use way too much of it in here. And I can't figure out which one they're using by the ingredients, um, but it's got a very slimy texture to it. But I mean, it was it was decent. Noosh, and they have different flavors from what I understand. But that's definitely not something I would purchase on my own. I got, and I wish I had them to show you, but I ate them. They were really good. Awesome croutons. And they are very clean. They are made with coconut flour, blanched almond flour, psyllium husk, liquid egg whites, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, baking powder, salt, garlic, 
yeast, which yeast doesn't really affect anything but the flavor because there's no flour or sugar in here, um, apple cider vinegar, and black pepper. So that is very clean. One serving is a quarter of a cup, and there are two carbohydrates in it. They were delicious. They tasted like pumpernickel. They were really good, and I want to um, go on this website, which is... Um, foxhillkitchens.com and I'm going to see if I can order some more because they were that good. They were pretty good. Um, the macros, 2 grams of fat, 2 proteins. So they're kind of not a great macro, but they're great. They're crunchy. I wonder if they deep fry them because they're that crunchy. Um, croutons and the name of the company is Fox Hill Kitchen. So those were delicious. I enjoyed that a lot and I definitely, definitely would um, purchase those again if they were cost effective because even just to like kind of snack on a little quarter of a cup is nice did I get a coupon for them I did I got a 15% coupon on my entire order and they do all kinds of keto bread so I'm gonna go online and check them out um, I got and tried and really enjoyed Coco Polo chocolates, and I really wish they sold them in this size package. You know, these are just samples. Um, we got 70% dark, and then the Coco Nib dark, and this was pretty good chocolate. Coco Polo is pretty good. Lily's is good um, as far as being clean and macros and stuff. So Coco Polo was delicious. I have a full size bar that I haven't broken into because it's hard for me in portioning. That's why I love these like these are just perfect little portions so I will definitely buy those again um, I got a kawaii treats and eats keto mug cake it was okay it's nothing I'm gonna purchase I can make my own mug cake um, I don't know the pricing on them but the ingredients are pretty clean it's um, almond lupine and oat fiber Erythritol, baking soda, monk fruit, stevia, and unrefined sea salt. So it's very basic. This was super, super sweet. Um, and it was okay. It didn't, it was nothing crazy exciting. Um, if I want to take mug cakes with me on a trip, I'll just make them and put them in a zip bag. I don't feel like this would be cost effective. Although I don't know how much they are, so maybe they are. But I can make my own. So those. So if you want to order it, it is from kawaiitreatsandeats.com right I did enjoy these shrewd foods protein crisps they were like little crunchy balls of yumminess and would make a great crouton as well now this particular flavor which is pizza has sugar in it so it's not ideal so I wouldn't get the pizza again but I would get the plain cheddar in them and they're just crunchy little balls of yummy uh, two grams of fat, 10 protein. So again, not ideal macros, uh, but one carbohydrate for one package. And I love the, the package, you know, the pre-portion packaging, especially if I'm going to be out and about. Um, it's just easy. So this was it, and it's shrewd food. And I know I saw these on Amazon. And they were good. Crunchy, yummy. Sometimes you just need some salty crunchy in your life. Um, the other chocolate I got was Chalk Zero. It's delicious. It's very close to a Lind chocolate in mouthfeel. However, it doesn't have great ingredients. Um, but I did try it and it was good. I think each bar has like four carbs. And I'm not sure what the sweetener is. I don't have the big package. But anyway, Chalk Zero is another brand. But I would stick with Lily's or Coco Loco. But that's good. It was delicious. And then the last thing I got, which will be ideal if the hotel that I'm staying at has um, a microwave or cooking facilities, because sometimes when we go, they do have kitchens. It's collie rice, pre-packaged. Oh, think um, Uncle Ben's. That's how it comes. Just like Uncle Ben's rice pre-cooked, you just microwave it. This package is 7.5 ounces. It's 50 calories for the whole container, eight carbs, which is a little high, six fiber, so if you net, 
two sugars, and it's literally cauliflower and broccoli. No additives, no preservatives. So I ate about a quarter of a bag, and I have the rest in my refrigerator, and I can eat that. I may have the rest of it tonight for dinner. But this is amazing. I don't know where to purchase this. It didn't, it just came in the bag like this. Um, www.fullgreen.com and I will link these companies down below in the box if you want to check them out. Um, this is definitely once I know the hotel we're staying at and what amenities they have, this is definitely something I would throw in. I'll eat this for breakfast. I'm not, it doesn't make a difference to me. Put a little butter, salt, and pepper on it and that's a meal. Even if I just had this, this could be a whole meal in itself. So that was delicious. And then the last thing I have I'm super excited about it's called crook and marker hey dub that's Wellington behind me hi baby what do you need oh hi buddy say hi silly cats um, it's alcoholic so be aware it's pretty low in alcohol I think it's 4% gluten-free flavored beer it's considered a flavor beer, but what it really tastes like is a carbonated, like a carbonated wine cooler to me. However, it's totally clean. It is made with organic alcohol, and the sweetener is erythritol. It is so clean, and it's zero carb, and it's 80 calories for the whole can. Now, I mean, I guess you could drink a whole box, but they're not cheap. I bought this four pack of tangerine was $9 at Target. And then I went back the other day because I really liked it and they had one box left of a variety pack. So I think they sell eight flavors and the variety pack comes in with two of each of the four. And then there's two, so there's two separate variety packs. They are $16.99 at Target for eight cans. But again, for me, I'm not gonna drink more than probably one can unless I'm out at a picnic or cookout all day long or something, I might have two. But generally, I'm just gonna have one. And it, um, yeah, it's um, ancient grains and cassava root base brew. It is, ba it is brewed with quinoa. I mean, this is just awesome for a treat, uh, you know, an alcoholic beverage every once in a while is not gonna hurt us. The alcohol will affect your metabolism, so keep that in mind. However, the sweeteners will not. This will not kick you out of ketosis, and it is very clean. So it's called Crook and Marker. Here in Ohio, I got it at Target, and I think they have, a, I have to go check our Giant Eagle. Um, you can go online to their website, and they will, um, you can put in for like where to purchase, and it will tell you where they sell them in your area. So I hope that was helpful. Um, these are just some of the items that I've sampled so far. I have a bunch in my Amazon cart on my wish list to try. The thing is for me, I'm just cheap. Frugal, cheap, and I'm not one to spend a bunch of money on packaged foods when I don't need to. Now if I need to, I will. Like these little shrewd foods, like these types of things are great for travel for summer when I'm out and about so I will be purchasing some um, I have them I've saved all of them to my wish list that I've come up with so far so I can start ordering next year before my trip I'll start ordering you know like every couple weeks one package so that eventually at the end before I leave I'll have enough snacks um, the other thing that I like to travel with is dried meats like individually packaged meat sticks because again it's something a easier to take into the foreign country and b easy to pack in my backpack while we're out running around because sometimes um you know i need a snack or we can't find something meal wise for me i can eat what's in my backpack and call it a day it's not a big deal for me hi baby he's my old man this is he's 13 i think all right, everybody. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoy and you have a great night and I will talk to you later. Bye.